All right, today we're going to take a look at special right triangles, in particular the 45, 45, 90 right triangle. And what we're going to do first is find the sides given one of the legs. So, a couple, little bit of background here about the 45, 45, 90 triangles, just the way that it's set up. You've got two legs and a hypotenuse. Now, the two legs are very, um, in, in this kind of spot here, where they're going to have a one-to-one -one ratio. So, uh, that's going to be important to note later on. And then our hypotenuse, which is always across from the right angle, the hypotenuse is going to have a ratio of square root of two compared to the two legs. Now, let's take a look at a quick example here. But before we get into that, let's also take a look at sometimes the other ways you might see the 45, 45, 90 triangle represented. One way is with the angles marked. And sometimes when you have the angles marked, like you might see an angle mark like this or like this. And if you see that, that means you're dealing with a 45, 45, 90 triangle. Another way you might see another representation would be having the legs marked, and you might see these congruent marks like so. And if those two sides are congruent, then that means the angles opposite them are congruent. Since we have 90 degrees for one of the angles, the other two angles must each be 45 degrees. So these are two other ways you might see uh, the 45, 45, 90 triangle represented. Now let's go ahead and get into a couple of examples here. And here's our, our first few right here. We're going to take a look at this side here that has a side length of 8. Uh, and we're going to be given the length of the side, and we're going to find the length of the other two sides. All right, so we're going to be given one side over here, and that side is going to have a length of 3. That leg has a length of 3. So, again, if I'm given the one of the legs, notice the legs are in a one-to-one -one ratio, so if this side here is 3, that means this side over here is going to be the same exact thing. And then the hypotenuse will just end up being 3 times the square root of 2. And that's it. That's all you have to do with that type of problem. Again, here's another example where maybe one of your side lengths of the leg is 9, so that means the other leg is also going to be 9, but then your hypotenuse is just going to be 9 square roots of 2. Now every once in a while you won't get one that's a, a whole number, you might get a, a radical. So say this side has a length of square root of 3. Well the other length of the other leg is also going to be the same thing, it's going to be square root of 3. And then come up with the length of the hypotenuse, uh, you just take square root of 3 and multiply that by, our, by square root of 2, and that just gives you the square root of 6. So the hypotenuse, that side is going to be the square root of 6. Now, what if, say, one of your side lengths was 5 and then square root of 14? Of course, the other side over here, this leg, would also be 5 square roots of 14. So to come up with the length of our hypotenuse, we'll just go ahead and take 5 square roots of 14 and multiply that by square root of 2. Doing that, we end up with 5 square root of 28. Now, square root of 28, we're going to have to simplify. And when we break that down, you can simplify that to have two factors of square root of 4 and square root of 7, which means the square root of 4, that part is just 2. So we have 5 times 2, and then we have the square root of 7. Uh, 5 times 2 just gives us 10 times the square root of 7, so our final length for the hypotenuse is 10 square root of 7. So those are four quick examples to just kind of go through uh, the 45, 45, 90 given one of the legs. Now, what I want you to do is go ahead and try these next four examples. So pause the video right where it's at and see if you can get these ones solved correctly. After you hit pause, then go ahead and continue on and see if you did these correctly. All right, so here are the answers for those four. So hopefully you did these correctly and uh, your work is pretty straightforward if you need to see how any of the sides were found. Uh, the hypotenuse side, I know, uh, for the one that's 4 squared to so 3, all the work for that is right over here on this side. Alright, so that's it for today. Uh, good luck with solving special right triangles, the 45, 45, 90, if you're given the length of the leg, finding the length of the other two sides.